I was first introduced to chiropractic through my father, who was a GP with a specialist interest in complementary medicines. Like many chiropractors, I was a patient first. I had a hip strain when I was 17, walking on an outward bound holiday in Scotland, and I had treatment, and I was amazed that after a few treatments, it, it completely settled. And I was doing my A-levels, and I thought, this seems like a really good profession. And, uh, and I was very lucky to have found something that I really enjoy doing. I qualified at the Chiropractic College in Bournemouth over 30 years ago. After that, I trained as an Alexander Technique teacher and I was the first duly qualified practitioner in both professions. I'm just going to feel now to see where the spine is yeah. tight. The most common complaints that chiropractors treat is lower back pain, and then upper back, neck pain and headaches are very, very common, along with a wide range of sporting injuries as well. Chiropractic care could be separated into three stages. The first stage, when you've got an acute initial injury, you're in a lot of pain, the muscles are spasmed, you can't move. So it's all about helping the muscles relax, reducing the pain, helping the mobility so you can get back to work and your activities. The second stage is stabilizing the joints. They may still be vulnerable and weak and can strain. And at this stage, it's so important not to overdo it. So we introduce exercises gently and are still doing more manipulation or massage work. The third stage is all about the prevention, learning how to then get back into your exercise, activities and daily life in a healthy way. Initially, when a patient comes to see me, I'll take a history, which will be a lot of questioning about their problem, finding out about how it's come on. I then do examination with chiropractic and orthopaedic medical tests. And then, provided there's no contraindication, I'll go ahead and treat on the first visit. Manipulation or adjustment of the joint, just like clicking your finger, isn't painful in itself. If there's pain, however, or there's muscle spasm around a joint, then sometimes there can be some discomfort. And commonly, if patients can be a little bit sore after treatment for 24, 48 hours, but it then does settle. I don't always manipulate the spine. I sometimes will do more gentle releasing muscle techniques. And it's finding what works for each individual person. I probably have a slightly different approach. I use a lot of deep muscle work higher into the base of the skull than, a, than many other clinicians that I know. So it's a, it's a slightly unique approach, but it does seem to be very effective. As with many medical conditions, the sooner you seek treatment for your back pain, the better. Chiropractic can be very, very effective right at the beginning of an injury to help improve the muscle spasm, improve the joint mobility, and that actually in turn can help the injury settle quicker, and in fact it helps it stop it coming back as much. My top tips for staying healthy would be definitely we've got to keep active gently and regularly, both physically and mentally. For your back pain particularly, not sitting too long. That's not good for the back. Alexander Technique is posture and movement rehabilitation. It's all about learning to become more aware of the body or mindful of our activities, to use ourselves in a more relaxed, balanced way. What I enjoy most about being a chiropractor is first and foremost, helping someone out of pain and then inspiring them to keep healthy, keeping active, making the changes in their lives that really improve their health and well-being. Thank you.